Hey there, future doctors. Welcome back to Moms. Before we dive in, if you're new here, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for instant updates. Stick around until the end to get all the details on extracting an inflamed abscess from a cyst. For more details and reading material, check out the description below. And don't forget to leave a thoughtful comment. All right, let's get started. Extracting an inflamed abscess from a cyst typically requires medical intervention to ensure safety and minimize the risk of complications. The process involves draining the pus-filled abscess and addressing the underlying cyst. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how it's typically done in a medical setting. First, a doctor will examine the cyst and abscess to assess the severity, check for signs of infection, and determine if drainage is needed. The affected area is then thoroughly cleaned with an antiseptic solution like povidone iodine or alcohol to reduce the risk of infection. A local anesthetic is often administered to numb the area and minimize discomfort during the procedure. Using a sterile scalpel, the doctor makes a small incision into the abscess at its most swollen part. This is the point of maximal fluctuance. This allows the pus, a mixture of dead tissue, bacteria, and immune cells, to drain out naturally or be gently squeezed out. In some cases, after the abscess is drained, the cyst's sac or wall is carefully removed to prevent the cyst from refilling with pus or fluid in the future. If the cyst wall can't be fully removed due to infection or inflammation, further treatment may be recommended once the infection resolves. Next, the inside of the abscess cavity is often irrigated with saline solution to remove any remaining debris and bacteria. Depending on the size of the abscess cavity, sterile gauze may be packed into the wound to keep it open for continued drainage and to prevent premature closure. The area is then covered with a sterile bandage or dressing to protect it. If there's a significant infection, antibiotics may be prescribed to treat any remaining infection and prevent the spread of bacteria. Regular follow-up visits are crucial to monitor healing, change dressings, and possibly replace the packing material over time. Finally, patients are instructed to keep the area clean and dry, replace dressings as needed, and follow any other post-procedure care instructions. Full healing may take a few weeks, and scar formation is common depending on the size of the abscess and cyst. Remember, this is a medical procedure that should only be done by a healthcare professional. Attempting to drain an abscess at home without proper medical tools and techniques can lead to serious infections and complications. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Moms. Check the description for more details and reading material. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more instant updates. Catch you next time!